with us today Kathleen Trenchard, who is a number one, I think, artist in the San Antonio area. Kathleen, good yes. day. Hello, how are you doing? Very good. Now, I saw Kathleen's write-up in a AAA uh, paper, and I said, I've got to talk to her when I come to San Antonio, because the kind of art you do is a little unusual. Could you tell our audience what it is you do? Well, I learned the art form called papel picado. Is that That's Spanish? That's Spanish for punched paper. Punched paper. Mm -hmm. I learned how to do it in Mexico. Wow. I've uh, traveled all over Mexico researching for the book that I wrote, and it sold out uh, several years ago, but it's called Mexican Paper Cutting. And in the book, I go through the entire history of the art form. And writing the book, I got so excited about it that I started doing it myself. <laughs> and collecting the, uh, the chisels, uh, because it's, it's basically hammer and chisel. It's oh very low-tech. So tech. it's not painting, and you're an artist, but you're a different kind of artist. Well, I used to paint. You used to paint. I, I used helps. to draw a lot. Okay. Now when I do the drawing, it's eventually cut. Cut up. So I'm, I'm drawing to, to the cutting, so to speak, because I'm, I'm drawing something that basically will look like lace when really? it's cut. Okay, how long have you been doing this now? 25 years. Okay. Now you, you told me a little uh, while ago that you have <coughs> something at the AT&T Center in downtown yes. San Antonio. What's, what's that all about? All right, that is uh, done with plastic. It's a very heavy duty PVC based plastic. And the artwork, uh, they're basically window panels. 18 feet high and uh, six feet wide for each panel and there are four, four wide panels and one short panel. So the whole thing is about 18 by 18. Mm -hmm. And it covers the windows in the upstairs mezzanine uh, food court. Now, if you don't know what the AT&T Center, it is the Coliseum, the arena for sports. The new one. The new one mm -hmm. here in San Antonio. Good. Now, you also have um, a place, a workshop, where you do all this. Yes, Tell us it's, about that. it's in my house. Uh, it used to be... Well, it's in your house, but I don't see it, so it must be some other place. So let's we'll go in there. As you can see, I've, I've used it quite a lot. When I get finished the front, <clears throat> then I turn it around and I work the back. Eventually, I have to melt this down. So that's lead, which is a soft metal. Yes, So you're able heavy. to put the tools through it, actually. Yes, that's right. <clears throat> Now, Chinese scissors and a mallet. And when I don't have to do a whole lot of pieces, then I use an exacto knife. But on complicated pieces like the one I did for the AT&T Center, I use all three techniques: the scissors, the si the uh, knife, and hammer and chisels. And I work on the floor quite often. When I'm doing large works, like for the AT&T Center, two layers of plastic, because I, I did one row of the window coverings on one side and another row on the opposite side. All right, Kathleen, thank you so very, very much. You appreciate it.